Hello everyone, this is Atri and welcome to our channel Code Chef. Today we will be solving the problem Usain Bolt vs Tiger with the difficulty level of simple. So let's get started. Here it's written that post retirement Usain Bolt is leading an adventurous life. He is exploring the unexplored parts of the globe but sometimes he gets bored and he reads questions about him on Quora. One such question he read was who would win in a race between Usain Bolt and a tiger if the race is on a straight line track and the distance and the tiger is distance to Bolt meters behind Bolt. The finish line is finished meters away from Bolt starting position and the tiger starts with an initial speed of 0 meters per second and will accelerate with tiger acceleration meter per second square. Bolt can run with a constant speed of Bolt meter per second. Now given these values, who will win Bolt or Tiger? Now Bolt will win the race only if he touches a finishing line strictly before the Tiger touches it. If both finish together, the Tiger is a winner because Bolt was given a head start. Now here, what I've done in this what I've done in this diagram is replace the values of the first sample case. So if you look at the first sample case, all the sample cases of the format finish units, distance to Bolt units. Tiger acceleration meters per second square and bolt speed uh, meter per second. This is the format of the input. Since bolt speed is 10 meter per second, I have replaced that here, which is uh, bolt speed is uh, 10 meters per second. Similarly, the tiger acceleration is 10 meter per second square. Why, if you ask, because it's given to us a tiger acceleration of 10 meter per second square. Similarly, distance to bolt units is 100. That is why I have replaced 100 here as distance to board units. Similarly, it is given in the first S case that uh, finish is 10 meters away from board's initial position. That is why I have replaced finish units as 10 from board starting position. Now, we need to find out the time that Bolt will take to reach a finishing point and the time that the Tiger will take. First, let's look at Bolt. Bolt has 10 units left to reach the finish line. Now, time is nothing but the distance by speed or velocity. Now, distance in this case is 10, which is denoted by finish units. So, distance uh, is finish units. And velocity here is given already to us as 10 meters per second. But 10 by 10, in one second, Bolt clears the finish line. Now, for finding out Tiger's time, how much time the Tiger will take, we use this formula s equal to ut plus half ad square because the initial speed of the tiger is 0 ut u denotes initial velocity initial speed is 0 so 0 into anything is 0 so this whole term gets cancelled so we have s equal to half at square so i can rewrite this as t square equal to 2s by a or t equal to square root of 2s by a now you might ask what is s s is the distance we know that the distance is nothing but uh, distance for the tiger to reach the finishing point is nothing but distance to bolt units plus finish units. Why is this the case? Because the tiger is given, I mean, the bolt is given a head start, so the tiger is way behind bolt. So for the tiger to reach the finishing point, we have to add the distance to bolt units plus the finish units. So 110. So the tiger is 110 units away from the finishing point. So this S denotes that. So what we do is 2 into 110 divided by the acceleration of the tiger, which is acceleration of tiger is 10 meters per second square. So time that the tiger will take is nothing but this. Now this is nothing but square root of 22. Now we need to figure out square root of 22. Uh, you know, if we can just look at this particular case and see that 4 square is 16 and this way around 4 point something. Well, Bolt is very fast. He reaches in 1 second. So in this case, since Bolt strictly reaches before the Tiger, for the first test case, the output will be Bolt here. So that is what we are going to do. What we are going to do is we are going to calculate the time that Bolt will take to reach the finish line, which is nothing but uh, which is nothing but as we saw distance by velocity but distance was nothing but finish units why finish units because bolt is finish units away from the finish line now we need to divide this by bolt speed now this will give us bolt's actual speed uh, time now that he takes to reach a finish line similarly for the tiger however we need to calculate root of 2s by a now we know that s is nothing but finish units finish units plus distance to bolt for the poor tiger because the tiger is way behind bolt. So distance to bolt plus finish units. Why again if I show it to you, distance to bolt is for the tiger to catch up to bolt. Bolt to finish line is bolt's uh, difference to the finish line. Now distance to the finish line. Now if we add distance to bolt units plus finish units, we get from the tiger to finish line. How much uh, distance is there? Now that is why we do 2 into finish units plus distance to board divided by the tiger acceleration given to us, divided by tiger acceleration. Now we check if time taken by bolt to reach finish line is lesser than time taken by tiger, bolt wins. 
In the other cases, the tiger wins. So, for example, I suggest you to pause the video for this particular test case and evaluate and see why tiger is the up. Because if I just write it again, let me write time of bolt here. Time of bolt is nothing but finish units divided by bolt speed. That is bolt here in this case takes 10 seconds. However, in the second test case, tiger, time of tiger is nothing but square root of 2 into basically finished units plus distance to board. So finished units plus distance to board is again 110 here, 2 into 110 divided by acceleration of the tiger. Here the tiger acceleration is 5. Now since the tiger acceleration is 5 here, we have 5 twos are 10 uh, and 24 I think. Uh, 5 twos are 10, oh it's 22 sorry, 22 here and this becomes root of 44. Now time of tiger is root of 44. Now we know that root of 44, you know, if you look at the squares 1, 4, 9, 16 and so on, 25, 36 and so on, you have 6 square as 36 and we have 7 square as 49. So between 6 and 7, some value this is for uh, root 44. So we know that 10 square is 100 and we know that time taken by tiger will 100% be lesser than time taken by board. So in this particular case, the tiger wins. Hope this is clear. Now let's look at the code of the approach that we have just discussed. Here, for every test case, we are inputting the finish units, distance to board units, tiger acceleration and the board speed. And then we are mapping each of these to integer after delimiting it by the default delimiter, which is space. Then what we find out is the time that bolt takes to reach the finish line, which is nothing but the finish units divided by bolt speed, which is nothing but what we saw. It's the distance divided by the velocity or the speed. So distance by speed equal to time. So finish by, uh, you know, finish is distance and speed. Bolt speed is speed. So we have distance by uh, speed equal to time. Now we know that how much time bolt will take to reach the finish line. Similarly, for the tiger, we follow the formula square root of 2s by a, where a is nothing but acceleration 2 into s, where s is distance to bolt plus finish units. Now 2 into this divided by acceleration, we take the square root to get the time of the tiger. The time tiger will take to reach the finishing line. If the time that bolt takes is strictly lesser than the time that tiger takes, bolt wins. Otherwise, in every case, tiger wins. Now, we need to make sure that uh, whatever language or uh, you know, functions we are using, we uh, make sure to have the float division now to uh, have the higher accuracy. Instead of just typecasting everything to integer, it is better to use the non truncation division or the you know float division of Python here. Or if you use any other language, just make sure that you are uh, handling the decimal point also. For example, if finish is 10 and my board speed is 7, you do not want to have 10 by 7 equal to uh, you know 1 as integer division. You want to have those decimal places so that you can compare properly. So this was the crux of the logic and I hope you enjoyed. Hey guys that was it. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you haven't yet done this, this is a gentle reminder to hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in competitive programming and data structures, this channel is a one-stop solution for you. See you in the next video. Bye.